Between 2007 and 2009, a series of unusual events occurred in the northwest region in Turkey. Multiple strange objects were observed over the sea and witnessed by local residents. During that time, an important video was taken of an unidentified object hovering in the sky at the same location. Yalcin Yalman was able to capture on film and in close detail what people were seeing. Several local residents reported observing disc and oval-shaped objects with a metallic appearance that move silently across the sky, sometimes accompanied by strange red and orange lights. In 2009, after attending a UFO conference near Istanbul, Roger Lear became witness himself and personally saw Yalcin taking a video of the anomalous object in the sky. The videos were examined by two influential state-sponsored organizations, the Scientific and Technology Research Board of Turkey and the National Observatory. Their objective was to identify any evidence of forgery, but interestingly, the results supported the authenticity of the videos. The original film cassettes were also studied by individuals from Japan, Chile, Brazil and Russia. Despite several attempts, no one has been able to conclusively demonstrate evidence of a hoax, fraud or manipulation leaving the case unidentified. Now let's see the videos made from the sightings. In 2008, from May 22 to September 28, there were multiple reports of unusual aerial activity in the Kumburgas area. Yalcin, who worked the night shift near the Yeni Kent facility by the shore, had a great view of the events as they unfolded. As the sightings gained more attention from the locals, the national media and even CNN started reporting on them. Several videos were recorded between June 8 and 12. This one is from June 8. Just four days later, another orange ball of light is spotted, followed by the filming of the craft shown below. During the recording, the structure seems to exhibit horizontal movement, resulting in a light and shadow shift. The craft appeared before and after these orange orbs were observed, which further adds to the speculations that several orbs can merge into a larger object. During the 2009 International UFO Congress held in Istanbul, the following sighting occurred. A crowd of onlookers watched a glowing ball of light maneuver near cloud level. It was that night and into the morning of May 15, 2009, when more unknown objects continued being seen and filmed over Marmara. The video is not of the best quality, but there were multiple witnesses to this event. Here's what Dr. Roger Lear said about the event that he witnessed himself. If this is the video, uh, which is called a Comburgus video, which is a close-up of a craft, uh, in fact, so close that you can see the occupants, it is 100% real, and I was there as that was filmed. Okay. That's what I wanted to hear. I wanted to know. Um, uh, the uh, up on my uh, website, uh, unfortunately, the one that's uh, the, the depiction that's up there is not as clear as uh, the other footage I have, and we're going to uh, switch it uh, soon. Uh, the one I have is the clearest uh, footage of it. Also, uh, I think the audience uh, would like to know that footage uh, was taken uh, by the uh, Cirrus uh, UFO organization. Uh, to a university in Istanbul and their uh, optical physicists went over that with a fine-tooth comb. Now let's see the part that shows the occupants. 
In the 2008 recording, the object remained with its hatches closed. You can see the reliefs and cuts where they would be located. In contrast, the 2009 video showed the hatches open, revealing what witnesses interpreted as occupants. If you compare the videos from the different year, you will see that the opening aligns perfectly. If we look closely, you can see the occupants. Here are a few pictures with filters applied to see more details. And apparently the occupants are moving as we can see from here. I thought there were only two occupants, but apparently there is a third one. To me the occupants look like the classic greys, but they can also be the being similar to the praying mantis. There have been many unsuccessful attempts to debunk this case, such as the comparison of the UAP with this cruise ship, but that is a simple stretch. They only found one frame from one video that matched the ship, while every other filmed video and frame did not match the shape. At that time and place there was no yacht or cruise ship present. Furthermore, the position of the UFO can be determined based on the position of the moon at the given time and date. So based on this calculation, it looks like cruise ships can fly. Furthermore, if this object were truly a cruise ship at night, why is there no light source on the other decks? It simply doesn't make sense. This case is undeniable, witnessed by many and captured multiple times within a two-year time frame. This case proves that the UFO phenomenon has a tangible physical aspect with nuts and bolts components, as well as occupants. I'll leave the links with the incredible research about this case in the description below, be sure to check them out. With this thought I'll end my video, I hope you like, share and subscribe with notifications on. Also if you can, please consider supporting me on Patreon, your support is the only way for this channel to survive, thanks to my Patreon supporters.